Hey, welcome to this behind the scenes video. Today I'm gonna to be shooting a talking head video, which is just me talking directly to the camera. The phone is going to be my camera. And what I'm making is some video for my core brand. If you don't know what my core brand is, go to mycorebrand.com. This is a great website for you to post a profile that not only talks to people about what you do, for business, for work, but also it talks about your core values, what you're passionate about, what your hobbies are, what it's like to work with you, stuff like that, where people are getting a bigger picture of who you are as a person and a business owner, and not just who you are as a business person. So it's a great way to network with people, build that know, like, trust factor that people really want when they're looking for somebody to work with these days. When you're making this type of video, there's a few things that you wanna always consider. A little checklist I like to call SLS, stability, lighting, and sound. These are three really important factors that are gonna make your video look a lot better than if you don't know what you're doing with these three things. So I'm gonna go over this. First one is stability. There's a few options. There is a classic tripod. You might have one of these laying around even. And the cool thing is they now sell just this top part here that would hold your phone and you attach it to the tripod shoe and then you've got a phone tripod. You can also buy a tripod that's specifically for phones, just Amazon search phone tripod. And a lot of these also let you change the direction so you could shoot vertically. Today we're shooting horizontally because that's the format on my core brand. You can also get a mini tripod. Look how cute this is, just a little, little guy. So with this, you know, I'm gonna be sitting down for these videos. I would wanna always put the camera at my eye level. So with this, if I put it here and I talk to it, it's not gonna look great because it's too low. I'm gonna be not a good angle. So what you would do is get some books and get it up to your eye level. So I would, I would do even more books here to get it to about this level. If that means getting some books, these are my two-year-old books <laughs> here, they're not mine. Uh, then do it. Find as many things, a box, whatever you need to get that camera at eye level. What I'm going to be using today for my stability is this ring light because it's also a light, which we'll get to next, SLS. So the cool thing about a ring light is that they usually come with a tripod attachment for your phone. So you've got that stability plus light combo. What I would recommend not doing is holding your phone, um, especially for a video like this, for my core brand page, you want it to look a little bit, little bit more professional and just holding your phone here. It's A, gonna be really close up unless you're like this and uh, you're gonna get shaky. This is, this is not an easy position to hold, especially if you're talking. A lot of people talk with their hands. So if you're trying to hold a phone steady and talk, it's very difficult. I'm sure you've seen social media posts where somebody's talking in their stories on Instagram or something and it's like the Blair Witch Project, it's hard to watch. So I would very much avoid any kind of holding of your phone, even having someone else hold it. That's a little bit better, but you're gonna be better off with some sort of stability device. Let me show you the easiest, cheapest way to get stability. I'll be right back. Check this out. A, bull, uh, a binder clip. Ta-da, you now have a tripod. So if I was gonna use this, you know, again, I would use books or a box to get the phone up to eye level. But hey, this is this holds your phone really steady. So no excuse for shakiness. Just don't don't be shaky. OK, now let's talk about light. The things you want to avoid with lighting that a lot of people do not thinking about it is overhead light. Just direct light down from the ceiling it does not look good. Check out this example here. You know, this woman is just not in the most flattering light. She's got shadows under her eyes. But if you use something like a ring light, her face is being lit directly from behind and the sides of the camera. This is a nice, even, flattering light. If you don't have a ring light, that's okay. Just think about how can I get light behind my phone or computer, whatever you're shooting on. Can you sit in front of a window? Because the window can be really nice, nice lighting on your face, that soft light. You know, or can you turn off your overheads and use a couple lamps even behind the camera to get that light directly on your face? That's going to make you look your best. Let's talk about sound now. I would not ever record in this room with no mic because it's 
echoey, it's loud. I have a mic on right now for you guys for this camera, but I'm gonna mic myself up for my phone for you know these questions that I'm gonna be on video for. There's a few options for microphones using your phone. They make a lot, you can just search Amazon phone microphone and you'll get a lot of options. What you're looking for is a lavalier. This is the type that just goes under your shirt, goes into a receiver, and then this little guy plugs directly into your phone. The brand here that I have is Movo, M-O-V-O. This is the Edge RXD. It's a little bit more expensive mic. This was, I think, $180. But you know, I make a lot of phone video, so I wanted really good quality stuff. You can definitely get them for less. You know, I've got a really good wireless one that was like $40. You know, it's not as good as this one, but it's pretty good. You can also get ones with wires. So, you know, it would basically be this. And instead of having a receiver, the wire is very long and it goes directly into your phone. Those are great too. They are cheaper. That's more like $30, $40 price point. Maybe, I mean, 20 even. But you've got that big cord to deal with and I am just not a fan of super long cords. So I've been using this guy for a long time. Okay, I just put mine under my shirt, cut the video for that, but I've hidden it. I don't like it showing, you know, on the outside of your shirt, it's not like a deal breaker. It's better than having no mic, but I don't know. I just think it looks nicer without. So I always put mine under my shirt. You can use a piece of tape. There's a clip on here. So I just clipped it to my bra and that works fine. A little bit of material over it is not going to ruin your sound. So if you do not have a microphone, shoot in a very quiet environment. So if your office is very enclosed, that's great. You know, I'm in a big echoey living room, so that is not a great environment without a mic. You could use your earbuds or AirPods, you know, and, and Bluetooth connect to your computer or your phone. And that's gonna sound better than no microphone. It'll be less echoey, but know that AirPods and earbuds are not made to be microphones. They work as a microphone, but that's not their intention. So it's not gonna be the best quality sound. It's gonna be a little bit canny sounding, but you will be clear and it'll cut out that background hum. So that's a decent option too. But number one recommendation, get a lavalier microphone. Okay, so I've got everything set up. I've got stability, light, sound, SLS, and I'm gonna get, sit down and frame myself up here. A few things you wanna consider with framing. You want, your, you want to take up most of the screen. So you wanna be pretty close to the camera, see how I'm filling the frame nicely. There's definitely a background behind me, but it's sort of like a secondary thing. That's what you want. You also want your eyes to be in the top third. See how there's guides on my phone right now? That's the rule of thirds. That's a guideline that you can use. My eyes are up here. So the, because the phone's at my eye level, I'm framed well. What you don't wanna do is put yourself like this. <laughs> with your eyes on the bottom third, not a good look. You also don't want to like cut your head off and like by being too close, that doesn't look good at all. So frame yourself just about like this. There you go. I've got the light nice and even on my face. Take a look if I turn my ring light off. That doesn't look good, right? I mean, I've got some side light from the window back here. I also have a light right here because of the other because of this camera. So, you know, I've, I've got a very lit side of my face. This side is dark. I do have overheads shining on me. I look old. I mean, I look wrinkly, look at my forehead. I look shadowed under here. Not a good look. Let me turn the ring light back on. Oh my gosh, it's so much better. So definitely remember, light, light your face from behind and the sides of the camera. Right before I hit record, you know, I've got my questions here, so I'm ready. I'm ready to answer them. I've, I've prepared, I know what I wanna say. You know, it doesn't have to be word for word. With this, I'm kind of just winging it a little bit, but I know my topics and I have bullet points in my head. Also, once you're rolling, do not look at yourself on the camera. You need to shoot this way, a selfie, using it, the selfie function on your phone so that you can frame yourself up and make sure you look good. But when I'm actually talking, I want to emulate eye contact with my viewer. So I'm gonna look at the lens not at myself on the camera. This is me looking at myself on the camera. This is me looking at the lens. Doesn't this feel better like I'm talking with you one-on-one -on -one in person? That's what you wanna do. So I know it's really difficult not to look at yourself on camera if you can see yourself, but 
If you need to, cover this up, your screen up with a sticky note or something so that after you've framed yourself up and know it looks good, cover it up <laughs> so that you don't, you're not even tempted to look at yourself or glance at yourself even. Just remember this little guy, this lens here, where I'm looking right now, this is your person that you're talking to. So if you need to put a little sticky note arrow at this lens, do it. Whatever you gotta do, make eye contact with the lens. You wanna start with a smile. The camera kind of makes you lose some of your energy. So you wanna up it a little bit on camera. You know, even if you feel a little bit cheesy, it's gonna come across well on camera. So I'm gonna start with a smile, hit record, do my thing, and then I'm gonna hit record again to stop what's going on. From an early age, I've always loved video. My dad was a big home video guy. I grew up in the 80s and man, he had that clunky old camcorder, shot a ton of video of me and my sister and I loved, still do, watching those back. So I think from an early age, I just, you know, I loved video. I loved TV shows, movies. I always knew I would have, I mean, early on I knew this was gonna be, I was gonna have a career in video in some way. So it's always just kind of been like that. And so in college, it's what I studied, and those my first jobs out of college were editing at ad agencies, then freelancing, then a corporate job, and then now I've owned Video Service Hub for four years. So that's how I got into it. I just always knew video was special. It kind of felt a little bit like magic to me, and I'm just so happy that this is that I make money doing this. It's kind of crazy to me, uh, and it's just worked out really, really well. Okay, I did my little bit there. So then I would just con continue going through the questions one by one, making a separate, a separate video for each one. Now, let's talk about the computer. Let me grab the computer and show you the differences. Okay, so with the computer, like I said, we still need to get to eye level, and we also need the light behind you. So for me, I would just leave my ring light up. And on my computer, I would record, and you could do it a few different ways, I would choose to record through QuickTime. I have a Mac, it's just the way I go. You could also just record straight through Zoom or per Loom, a program like that. Those do screen recordings, but in QuickTime I would go to, to new movie recording and that's gonna open up a window where I can see myself here on screen. I'm gonna make that big so I can really see what I'm gonna look like. So the microphone, the lavalier mic I have on right now, you know, that's connected to this phone, that doesn't work in the computer, unfortunately. So you've got to do a few other things to get good sound. You could get an external microphone, like a Yeti is a good brand. It plugs right into a USB port. You would set your settings on your computer to use that as the input mic, and then you'd sound really nice, crystal clear. The mic would just sit right here, you know, kind of out of view of the camera, and you would sound awesome. Same considerations though, if you don't have a microphone, quiet environment, stay close to your speaker, your computer, which you're going to be to get the right shot. Also, you could use your AirPods or earbuds here as well. But again, it's not gonna be the best sound, but it's probably better than no microphone if you're in an environment like this. But once you're ready, go ahead and frame yourself up. I don't have guides on this screen, but I, you know, just based on recording a lot of video, I know what I'm going for. I would put the computer a little bit higher I just don't, well, I've got, I've got more books around. Now we're talking, all right. Uh, so once I'm ready, same thing as on the phone, I would smile a lot, I would hit record. My hobbies include being outside. I love being outside, it's so fun to me. When I'm done, I would hit stop, and then I've got that recording right there on my computer, and I would just save it to my desktop or wherever, and then go to the next question. So that's it, that's your setup. Remember, S, L, S, stability, light, sound. Those are your big three concerns. And then as far as content goes, think through what you want to say so you're not just rambling and stuttering and be concise. The thing is this digital age we're in, people like video, they want video, they expect video, but they don't want them to be long. They don't want to watch you talk about what you're passionate about for like five minutes. <laughs> they want to know just 30 seconds, one minute, as concisely as you can tell them with getting your point across, being genuine, being authentic. That's great. So respect their time. It's also gonna help them watch your whole, your whole video if they know that it's short. Hope this was helpful. Please comment, message me with any questions you have.